The lights are on bright, and that means it's Monday night in the NFL here on EA Sports. Phil, one team coming in here hasn't lost in seemingly forever. They just keep on winning each and every week. You know, Jim, and I don't see much changing. Everything is in rhythm. It's working. The offense is hot. The defense is hot. And then when they get in a tough situation, it seems like the coach, he designs a play that works, that works on defense or offense. They're going to be tough here again today. They'll take We're under the lights here on Monday night, just moments away from kickoff here on EA Sports. This one team coming in on a winning streak that is starting to approach record territory, setting team franchise records. Well, when you look at them, you just go, wow, how are they ever going to lose? Just both sides of the ball. They're kickers. They're both awesome. There is no weakness, so it's, it's almost impossible to think you're going to come in and dominate what you need. You need a break to get a chance to beat him. Hills lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Dalton, handoff. 
you're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more care. The Browns' defense now is going to go nickel. The Bengals from the 37. And Bernard is brought down. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Uh, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down no as the game goes along. No Just a quick drop back. Five. No one's going to get him now. The 10, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play, what a run got to take advantage of situations like this not often in the nfl do you get somebody this wide open good job by the receiver nice job by the quarterback seating and what do you get An easy touchdown pass gilbert's got it about the 27 before he's taken down. Zebra, zebra, hey, hey. First down at the 27. Takes it on the draw. Picks up about five. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. That's second down coming up. First and ten. Johnson has got it on the handle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And now they'll try over again on second down. Good job with the safety getting that sack. I, I, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's showing us he can blitz two and get to the quarterback. The Browns now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third down on the way. Surveys. No chance to throw. Another sack. Midway through the first, and with that stop, this offense will be in excellent position to extend the lead. Yeah, it's going their way right now. It is, Jim, and so you got to take advantage of it. The game always has ebbs and flows, and right now, uh, momentum is on your side. Go out there and make a play. Ross is going to look for space now. Games 12. Bengals offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. I mean, just look at them. They've got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence and talent. When you put those teams together, that makes you good. It makes you dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down there again. Here's a look at the Bengals offense. They have been a third-down juggernaut this year, converting at an unusually high rate. 
Second down after that pass play. The Browns go with the dime formation here on defense. Hill's going to take the handoff now. It's third down coming up. Quarters formation here for the defense. And it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. I think as time has gone on, more and more coaches and teams, we see them going for it on fourth and short. But this decision, you're, you're winning the game fourth and short. You're near midfield. I don't think you go for it. Don't let the pressure of the fans or your players get into your mind. Put the football away. That's the right decision. A long field ahead of them at the 10. The ball is knocked out. Now that we've got a moment, let's look at the Browns offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. Second down and 10. They'll go ground. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Well, but it's third long in a situation like this. I'm going to look at it from the defensive side. You know they're going to be careful, so make sure you come up and just make the tackle so they don't get those yards after the catch or a long run. Third down and 11. Throws the pass. And this will be complete it'll be a three and out and so now they'll call on Lee to punt the football Ross has got it now and gains maybe four the Bengals weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of the information out there in that short drive, Jimmy. You do that by showing different points. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. That touchdown has them sitting pretty as the first quarter winds to a close. Wow, you know, something sitting pretty, something that I've never done. But, you know, I do the best I can. That's all I can do, Jim. But, hey, the offense, the team, they're so sharp. What a job by them so far, and they got a nice lead here. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. Gilbert's going to test the coverage this time. Running room. special teams in the NFL it truly is a third of the game and when you get a kick return for a touchdown that just gives you so much momentum look at the blocks look at the speed of the returner great job leads to a touchdown the Browns for the point after makes the PAT The Bengals are ready to return the kick. And he'll start his return. Ball is out. The kick it on his way. Touchdown, Browns. That's the way they're taught to be greedy. Don't be satisfied with just getting the turnover. Take it all the way back to the house for the score. The Browns will tie it up with this extra point. Inside of the uprights.
the Bengals are ready to return the kick. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Bengals head back out now on offense. What a lively start to this game for them, partner, as both teams jump down quickly and put points on the board. Yeah, it's been fun, been exciting. The crowd loves it, and I'll say this to the defensive coaches. Whatever you were doing, change, because what you were doing was not working. This is going to be a fun series to watch. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. First down at the 18. Hills taking the handoff. Ends up picking up three yards. And here's the Browns defensive lineup. Second best in the league when it comes to pass defense. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second and long. Hills handed the football. Tackled down at the 22. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense in third and long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. The Bengals from the 22. Pass is intercepted. Late in the first, and it looks like the offense now has a great opportunity to break the tie. Yeah, now it's time to go out there and get something done. My gosh, we practiced all week. You know, I kept hearing from the coaches, and so did you, Jim, how good they looked in practice on the offensive side. Well, show it to me. The Browns from the 32. Johnson's going to secure the handoff. At the line of scrimmage, the 34. Trying to beat the play clock. The Browns still driving as the second quarter gets underway. This will be second down. Looks like they're in press coverage here. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Looking across the middle. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. The Browns have it at the 34. They'll throw it over the middle. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. He'll try this one from 51. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. They've taken the lead on that field goal with the second quarter just getting going. Nice job by the offense. I thought there were a few plays called that time by the offensive coordinator that were not very good, but they overcame the coaching and still got three points. The Bengals offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. First down at the 20. Out of the eye, it's Bernard. And that's Kruger in on the stop. Bernard's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. The Bengals go with two tight ends on this play. Dalton will take it from the gun. Dalton over to Eifert. The 
Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. The Bengals lined up. Bunch formation. Dalton's back in shotgun formation. Incomplete. And this is going to be a three and out. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, they can make a big play. Tate's going to take this one from the 26. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. The Browns put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown, and it doesn't work, and you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. An open lane. Johnson's tackled down after a gain of 12. Johnson's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down at the 48. Throws the pass. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Second and ten. That's dropped by Watkins, who couldn't bring it in. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. Manziel's running away from the pressure. It's intercepted! He's brought to a halt. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just ran the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Bengals' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited, so this is going to be tough on the offense. Second down and 10. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Well, there's no doubt what to do in a situation like this. You do not take a chance and, and put your team in a position where they have to make a big comeback in the second half. Corners formation here for the defense. Dalton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Batted down. Well, you're down. It's in the first half. You got fourth and long near midfield. This is a no-brainer. I think the coach, don't even think about it. Send that punting team in there. Put the football in play field position. Tate's got a chance this time. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. And a run back of about 13. The Browns' last possession ended somewhat painfully with an interception. You wonder if they're going to try to compensate for that mistake on this drive, Phil. Well, sometimes when you have a mistake on the offensive side, it does make you get more conservative. Let's look at it from the defensive side. It was just a tremendous play. So sometimes in the NFL, that's going to happen with a defensive player was just better than the offensive player. I know you had a lot of experience at this, but after you threw an interception, what was it like coming back out of the field the next night? Well, I tell you, I tell all my teammates, be alert. You might have to tackle again because I'm going to keep firing it down the field. First and ten. Johnson's got it on the handoff. Tackle down right around the 47. Johnson's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down here. Johnson's going to take the handoff now. We've got a flag down here. 
the defense accepts the penalty. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Manziel lines up in the pistol. Midway second quarter. Pulls it in. They'll mark him at the 41. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. The Browns snap it at the 41. Barnage with the reception. Brought down at the 38. That's his first reception today. The line of scrimmage is the 38-yard line. That long gain sets them up here on this play. And it's knocked down. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. The Browns take it from the 38. Looking across the middle... Man, it's the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game in his third long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. The Bengals with a nickel look here on defense. The Browns take it from the 38. Throw it to the outside, and they've got the hookup. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position, you'd like to score a touchdown. And no return this time as he takes a knee. The Bengals got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense. But I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense. Because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Wittner's there that time for the tackle. Bernard's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second down. Hills taking the handoff. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the box very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. First down at the 49. Dalton over to Eifert. Games 17. Situations you go over so many times in practice and training camp. Know what's going on in the offensive side. How to preserve time. Good job that time by the offensive player. Get out of bounds and give his team more chances to get it done here in the first half. And it's spotted away. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage you against him set up now at the 32 the Bengals from the 32 intercepted what a job by the linebacker that time making 
and that interception. Gets in good position. What a pair of hands. A linebacker who could do it all. Loss of a couple that time. The Browns will look to get set. It's been a close game so far. The score's 20 to 14. Johnson's hand at the football. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Bengals' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Watkins has got it on a pass that had some heat. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this. And they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration. And you never see him drop a pass. Manziel's completion percentage, 40% on the day. The Browns take it from the 23. One for the home run. But they can't connect. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage. But no can do. The coverage is too good. The football falls incomplete. Johnson's lined up in a single back formation. Second and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Golden Tate on the receiving end. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. Do the little things right. When you do those right, you get big victories. And, and doing it right is what, what this offensive player did that time. Had a chance to get out of bounds, stop the clock, give his offense more chances. Really good job by the offensive player. Here's the first snap after the big play. Gary Barnage holds it in. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. The Browns are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. In plus territory at the 49. Second and six. Down on the field. The ball is charred out of his hands. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Manziel lines up in the pistol. Blue tip. Blue tip. Third down and six. Batted down. It's a good job that time by the defense on third down. Find a way to get off the field. The defender found the way. Knocked that pass down. They're in punting formation. A punt just like it was drawn up and now the defense has them backed into the corner the Bengals were moving the football the last time they had it only to give the football away on the pick let's see how they do it this time yeah you know that's a tough situation for the offense you get a little confidence and you're moving the football and then the turnover just changes everything so you got to find a way to get your confidence going again That'll bring us to the end of the second quarter here off the banks of Lake Erie. And we'll be back following the break for the start of the second half. Gilbert's going to test the coverage here. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Browns take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but... Feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. There's a flag right there. The defense will take the penalty. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Look out. The defense is showing a blitz here. Makes the catch. Good yardage picked up on that ball. Browns did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. 
much easier to call those kind of plays. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Now Aluga has the sack. Well, it's do or die right now, and you've got to go ahead and make the call to give your offense a chance to get this first down. And I know this team, they have a lot at their disposal. I think there's a play in there that's going to give them a good chance. The Bengals lined up in the nickel. Third and ten. The defender able to knock it away. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. Ross has got it on the return. That's a gain of 10. The Bengals offense trots out onto the field, looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. The Browns out now in a 4-6 formation. Eifert gains 20. That's reception number four for him. The Bengals just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Andy Dalton will be under center. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Staying with the passing game on first down. Scanning the field. Almost intercepted that time. Gets tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. If you make a quick break on the football, hey, you get in position like this, and you can knock it down. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Empty backfield look for Dalton here. Dalton's going to take it from the gun. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Bengals getting ready for the kickoff. Gilbert's going to run this one out. The Browns offense coming back onto the field here. Desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen. Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You put this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. The Browns take it from the 23. That's dropped by Watkins, who couldn't bring it in. Pass rushers, defensive players, they love situations like this, don't they? They got a little lead there. It's in the second half, and it's third and long. You are expecting pass, so you could just let it go and try to get after the quarterback. The Browns take it from the 23. Manziel's on the move. Johnson's got the catch the first. The Browns did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Manziel's completion percentage 40% on the day.
First down at the 36. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Second down and two to go after the running play. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. It'll be third down. The Browns at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Manziel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Well, it's in the second half. It's fourth and short near midfield, and you are losing the game. And I, I think this is a decision. The odds are in your favor. I think you go for it here, and if you don't get it, you can still survive and let your defense do some work for you. Ross has got it at the 15. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. And a run back of about nine. The Bengals offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out. They got it done. It's now second down. Here's the handoff. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. The Browns sat at the line. Dime package. Dalton's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Picks up eight here. He's averaging about four yards a carry. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Bengals take it from the 43. Hill's got the carry once more. Now third and short following the run. The Browns defense lined up going with the 46 defense. Makes the reception. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Bengals are really a true football team. Their defense, we know it's good. They don't want to just rely on it. The offense, nice job picking up their first down. Eat the clock up. Keep the pace of the game on your side. Small lead here in the second half. That was a good job. First down here after the completion. Hand off. Bernard looking for a lane. And Barkevius Mingo makes the tackle. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Bengals have it at the 44. Hill with the reception. Hills tackled down after a gain of two. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and then uh, getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. Dalton's completion percentage, 60% on the day.
the Bengals are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway on the way third down Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Tries to hook up with Jones on that pass, but it's incomplete. Jim, good job that time by the defense. They stopped the offense on third down. Now it's fourth down. They're down one possession, and they're giving the football back to their offense. They have just flipped field position thanks to that punt, and now the offense is really backed into a corner. The Browns heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. And the immediate handoff to the fullback. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. First down snap, and this is a scary point for them. The Bengals packing the box here. 46 formation. This play call is for the fullback. And it's Reggie Nelson in on that last play. Second down and in a very precarious spot. Second down and seven. Handoff out of the eye. Tackles made and that'll move the chains. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game. When you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook. And it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Three-step drop. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. Room to work. Manziel's tackled down after a gain of 10. The Browns will take the snap from the 25. Throws the pass. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. The Browns will take the snap from the 25. Looking across the middle. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Browns team official. Right now, all they will say is it's an upper body injury and that he will not be returning. Back to you. The Browns have it at the 34. Carnage with the reception. Reggie Nelson makes the tackle. The Browns look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. First down at the 42. Flip to the outside. He's now got 70 plus yards on the ground. Johnson, so running back after he makes a big run like this, he gets excited. He is just looking for his next carry. First down here after the run. This play set up by the long gainer. Johnson's going to secure the handoff. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. The Bengals' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. And they tackle the runner for a loss. The line of scrimmage is the 33. Get ready. Second and 13. The defense 
gets the sack. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed, gets to the quarterback and gets a sack. The Browns are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Launches it down the field, incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Sometimes when you have a lead, your defense is on the field. You just want one of your guys to come through and make a play. That time, nice play by the defensive player. Now it's fourth down for the offense. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. Backs to the wall for the offense. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Deion Sims hauls it in. Games 17. The Bengals are in front thanks to their quarterback. Dalton's done everything he can to keep his team on top. He has been so efficient here today. Very smart making decisions. And when you put those two things together, that's why your football team is winning. Second down following the run. Takes it out of the eye. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. And Dalton's pass will go incomplete. All set to punt here. Tate's going to look for space now. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. That time, he only gets a couple yards. And if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. Denard's the one who made the big stop. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Let's go. The Browns take it from the 23. Intercepted by Reggie Nelson. The Bengals ready to officially chalk up the victory. The interception has them in a very safe position with very little time left on the clock. Well, they got stars on the defensive side. We've talked about that. They're smart. They did the right things. Their fundamentals were just solid all day long, and it led them to victory. First down at the 44. The give of the eye. That's a timeout call. Coming to the line at the 46. Second down and 12. An untimely interception thrown it is as the defense comes up with the big play and this game still is wide open to the end. Well, the offense trying to stay aggressive. They were just trying to win the game in that situation. Well, they didn't win it. What a job of the defense being aggressive and getting the turnover. And that's perfect in on the stop. It takes courage by an offensive coordinator in the fourth quarter and you're behind 
to run the football, but he shows that courage. He runs it, and he gets rewarded. Good blocking, big pickup that time by the offense. The Bengals load up the box, going with the 46 defense. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Uh, I don't know what to say there, Jim. I don't get it. You run the football in this situation, and my question is, why? And I'm sure that's going to be a question this coach is going to hear from all the reporters when this game is over. First down. Pressure on every snap now. Johnson's got it on the handle. The Browns come to the line. Fourth quarter with two timeouts remaining. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. A huge third down play on the way. Jim, look at that. The defensive line all shifting down inside. They're expecting a run right up the middle. Tate's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. You can't waste time like this. You got to score points. Another two minutes to go in the second half. You're down. The quarterback gets outside the pocket, but he doesn't throw the football away. Doesn't get out of bounds. Bad decision. The Browns take it from the 38. Draw play here. The Bengals signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The Browns come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. The Bengals' defense now is going to go nickel. The Browns have it at the 39. Right back to them once more. Sometimes you got to take a risk in the National Football League, and I'd say this was a risk, and it was a bad risk. Terrible decision by the offense, by the coach, running the football inside, getting tackling. You needed to get it out of bounds to preserve the clock. That's going to come back to haunt you. Loss of five on the play. This is a big third down snap. The Browns will set up. The 28 is the first down line. The Browns have it at the 44. Looking to go down the field here. And it's incomplete. It's fourth down coming up. And, of course, they are going to go for it here. Give no doubt they're going to go for it here on fourth down. What does the defense do? Do they play a conservative or do they take a chance and really go after the offense to stop this fourth down play? The Browns are a long distance field goal away from taking the lead late in this one. No good, no good. They needed to make that long field goal to take the lead, but it's not to be here in the late stages. Long field goals are not automatic. We know that. We see kickers miss them from time to time. But the defense, now can they step up and do their job and get the ball back for the offense one more time? Takes the knee. How important was this victory today, Phil? They're all important, but this one gives you that little confidence. Makes next week a lot easier to deal with. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.